is Yolanda Renee, and today's vlog is a little bit in pieces of a little bit of everything. Did that make any sense? No, I don't think it did. Anyway, today's vlog is all over the place, just like the last one, because we haven't been doing daily vlogs. We've just been vlogging every day and then compiling it into a full-on vlog. This vlog may be super long because... It was hard to edit as usual, but I have fun editing, so I hope you guys really enjoy it. Um, we start off with school, of course. About them dressing alike um, but they wear uniforms so of course they dress alike they do have different shoes and different accessories and stuff but I mean they don't mind dressing alike um, Tyler actually did a flat twist out on her hair a flat twist and curl actually but I pulled it up into two puffs and she looks so cute and then Taylor I think we just um, retwisted her hair that night and put um, hanging bantu knots at the end of her hair and then she just wore a curly fro to school and she looks so cute um, and that day it was so funny because when I was taking her hair down she was like mommy I just want a straight afro I don't want any extras just the afro no buns no ponytails in the front no half up half down she was serious she just wanted her throw out and i thought that was so cute and she looks adorable You guys really enjoyed the lunch that I um, prepared for the girls and I saw that you guys wanted me to share more lunch ideas so I do have a lunch idea in this video we have pretzels with cheese and then we have some strawberries you know we have to have some fruit and apples toasted bread and then I put some marinara sauce some mozzarella shredded cheese and some pepperonis. I fold it over the sandwich and I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Oh my God, it's so good. And then also these juice boxes, I got these from Target actually. And when I read the ingredients, I was like, oh my gosh. And it's really healthy. Like there's even aloe vera juice in it, which is great for like um, your hair even. Even if you drink aloe vera juice, it still gives you results with your hair so um i was really shocked to see that in the product so or in the juice i was really happy though when we get from after school we just do our routines and we put our lunchbox in the kitchen and we put our school supplies on our at the end of our bed and then we play in our computers for a little bit until five o'clock because that means at Five o'clock, we have to do our homework. Friday, we have, we went to have a sleepover. What do y'all want to do? Oh, we got hit by the car. We all could have gone anywhere, right? How about we talk about being British? Yeah. How about we try to talk to people? Here, go ahead. I'm going to place me to get that shot again. I'll pick it up. Get my back. Hey, guys. At Araya and Carmen. My best friends, they seem like cousins to me. Every time I keep thinking they're my cousins, but they're actually my friends. <laughs> we just had a sleepover last night, and um, they, they, their mom was about to pick them up, and um, their, mom, their mom said that they could stay over for one more night. So we're happy. All right, do you want to introduce Araya? Okay, so, so we she's have still gonna pick us up. Araya. Tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, we have Araya. 
And tell us how old you are, Raya. Nine. And how old are you, Taylor? Eight. <laughs> now stand back to back. So Raya's nine and Taylor's eight. <laughs> And how old is Carmen? Eleven. Wow, Carmen's tall too. Now definitely stand back to back. Yes, back to back. Hello, hello. Are you having fun with your company? Yes, we're, we're gonna have a sleepover again. What are you guys gonna do? I don't know. Everything. Huh? So we had a rap battle game, and then we finished watching the whole entire film. Can't go to sleep until late. Like one something, everybody fell asleep except for me, <laughs> and then I just automatically fell asleep. <laughs> and then the next, and they got to stay over for one more day. Woohoo! <laughs> Stayed up late again. Like we said, we we're gonna stay up late so it could feel like we we've been together for a, like a really long time. Aww. So. Um, Hey guys, it's me Taylor and Skyler and Araya and Carmen and they they are our two special guests today for our video. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Cuckoo's Cuckoo's Funhouse. Yeah. Me. I'm a yeah, that vlog site is so funny. I like cry so much. So what? This time yeah. I cry. Oh my gosh. Are you guys done? It was so funny. So the good smoothie, the good smoothie was disgusting. And for the bad smoothie, we had mustard, tuna, and broccoli. And cheese. Yes. It was gross. And I did a trick on them. So, so I didn't have anything in my cups. And everyone had some in their cup. Yesterday, um, I washed clothes. It was fun. What are you doing? Playing video games. Uh huh. Didn't I tell you you had to wash your uniforms before you play games? Um, my first chore. Your what? Chore. Your first chore? Yeah. Are you excited? Kind of. Pants, shorts, and white shirt t-shirts. We're using true laundry detergent. Um, so this is um, a black owned laundry detergent and it looks pretty cool. The thing I like about it that it matches my like my room because mostly my room is purple. <laughs> And I don't know what color this is. Is it like clear? We'll have to see. So how often should you do laundry? I think we should do it every Friday. That way you can wash all your uniforms. No, once a week. Yeah, once a week, every Friday. Turn on Luther Vandross. And that's that was the cue. That's how we knew it was time to start cleaning up. So that's why I know all Luther Vandross songs, Karen White, who else? Freddie Jackson. That's how I know all those songs because that's how I clean the house. To music. Um, okay, so Saturday. So what do you want your reward to be? Bowling. You want to go bowling? Yeah. All right. Okay. Uniform. That's All right, let's lot. go to the laundry room. <laughs> I'm glad we don't have to walk downstairs anymore. Uh, okay. Now let's put this 
The first lesson is all right, so we don't have that many um, clothes, right? Mm -hmm. So you see that first knob over there? Yeah. All right, so the first knob, you okay. need to put it to, let's put it to lard. Um, I actually taught Taylor how to wash her own clothes. All their uniforms were dirty. So she was so like eager to learn this because she feels like it's like responsibility and she's a big girl. It's so cute. We'll probably do small for this one, but small is like maybe we just needed to wash a few towels and a few washcloths. Uh, then we would need to put it on small. So, but I think so large, large is the perfect one. Right. Okay, so the next knob is the temperature. Warm. And well, we're going to be washing white clothes because most of your uniforms are white, right? Mm -hmm. They need yours because the stipulation to having a dog was that you had to keep everything super clean because if it's not, dogs sometimes might poop somewhere and you don't want to just randomly find poop and mess your day up. And poop smells different when it's out of water. <laughs> so we need to turn that knob all the way to white. So we need to push it in and then turn it. Yeah. And that's clockwise, right? So now that you have it in the right section. Pull it. Yes. Oh God, this is hard. This is the hard part. So there's the water. The water is getting in there. Oh God, I'm scared. <laughs> so that's all you have to do for up there so you can get down there. I had to cut grass, I had to wash dishes, I had to make sure my room was clean. That's why I'm like, I'm not, I'm clean now, like I like order, but me, I like throw clothes around and stuff, but I'm always moving, so. Alright, let's put some clothes in there. Alright, so go ahead and put in, um, so we're going to put some clothes in there. Oh, I can see why this was in the hamper. The next is dirty. So do I just drop it in there? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm scared. I, I, I think this, I, I, I'm nervous when I do this part because I don't like getting clothes wet. So, <laughs> kind of feels like I'm getting bad like, for putting clothes in something wet.
Taylor is a big girl today. We started doing chores and she washed all of their uniforms. I'm so excited. So um, to reward her, we're going to have a family night. We're going to go bowling and we're going to vlog there. So yeah. Um, I really don't have any like updates or anything. Let's go check on the girls, see what they're doing. Oh yeah, I'm still rocking the same wig y'all. My hair is twisted. I need to show you guys my hair. I think my my next hair video was going to be how I moisturize my hair and twist it up so I can wear my wigs easily. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do that. But let's go check on the girls. Okay, that's how you spell science, right, Mom? Uh-huh. Okay, now school is such a highlight of my childhood I used to love playing school um, me and my cousin we used to go to our local library and they always had like the pamphlets and brochures that were like out there we used to go take them and act like that was gonna be our handouts for our class um, we even had the little FedEx box and we used to take the FedEx envelopes and forms and act like those were like school forms oh my gosh uh, and then we had a little shed at my house, and I had that all set up like a, a school. My hair look okay? Yeah. So we're going to erase this whole entire board of stuff for your five minutes and okay? This whole entire thing, okay? Mm -hmm. Hi! Sorry I'm late. It's okay. We're not late. I'm late. not late? No, no you're early. Remember back in the day when those blinds where it was like a roll, and the blinds you just, it had this stick at the bottom of the blind and could just pull it down well there was a map that I got from the library well I taped the map <laughs> I taped the map to the um, blind roll it down to show the map and I had my little I think I used um, I don't know what I used for my pointer I think it was the other kind of mini blinds where it had the little stick that you can open and close it with I used to take that off and use that as my pointer for the map yes girl I have my teddy bears and my doll babies as my class room and then my cousin would be my other class um <laughs> my other um student yeah we got so creative with playing school so in the comment section let's talk about your childhood memories you didn't you didn't even start anything so oh, okay yeah so the class is still here so yeah so back. here's your whole entire class everyone this is mommy yeah yes this is our new student miss mommy so no just mommy yeah <laughs> so, so today today we're, today we're gonna start who off. wrote science that was good that was me Good job. Okay, so, so we're doing so, science. So, yes, we're gonna do some science, and we are gonna be learning about Earth. Yeah, we're gonna be about learning Earth. about Earth. Mm -hmm. All right, tell me about Earth. So, so okay, we're, should we write it on the board here? Let me see. Okay, then I'll do the inside. Ooh, you're drawing it. So I need to do the same thing. Ooh. That's a good idea. Okay, so today we're going to be learning South about the continent in the middle, Africa. <gasps> yeah. So, so the first, all, the first people, so the first people on Earth were in Africa, and I want to say that for what's a nickname? What's a nickname? What's a nickname for Africa? Um, hmm. you don't know what we call Africa? Uh, if it's the first place where everybody was born, if I gave birth to you guys, I am the mother. So, so, so Africa is the mother of Earth. Motherland. Oh, motherland. So there was motherland in Africa. Okay. Okay. So let's talk about the countries in Africa. Okay. So, so this is so this. No, Taylor, you need to stay back here. So this is to anybody who doesn't know all the con to all the countries in Africa. What There's, is Africa? Af is it a country? No, Africa is a continent on Earth. It, I want everybody to. Are you teaching the people who are watching our vlog? Or are you teaching me? It's kind of both. Oh, okay. 
So let's go over the continent. I mean, the um, countries in Africa. So we are gonna do ten countries. Okay, okay let me write ten. One, so, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. What's the first one? So the first one is Angola. Angola. Well, and then Algeria. Algeria. Um, what was the other one? And then Botswana. Benin. What is this guy? Benin. Benin. Uh huh. Uh huh. Burkina Faso. Faso. Burkina Faso. Uh huh. How you spell it? Oh, where's the folder? It's okay. It's okay if you spell. Yeah, as long as it. Wait. Okay, and. Kate Verde. Kate Verde. Mm -hmm. Kate Verde. I'm so proud of you guys. What else? Chad. Chad. Oh my God, okay. What is that? Where's your folder? Mm. Scarlett, where's your? Oh, right there. Is that the the folder? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the uh, the African Central Republic. Well, let's look it up. Okay. Yeah. Central African Republic. And there, there is actually 50, 54 countries in Africa. But today, how many? 54. But we are gonna do 10 because 54 is way too many. It'll take like an hour. Okay, what's Central that? Republic of Africa. Burundi. Who? Burundi. Let me see. Burundi. Oh, we forgot that one. Burundi. Cameroon. Oh, and Cameroon. Oh, Cameroon. So that's the first 10 that we can think of. Right? Yes, but in in a few more days, we are going to um, do the rest of them. Right. Yeah. They're really good, too, because we learned, we learned these, like, in the summertime before school started, and I'm surprised that you guys remember. Okay, right, okay, I'm about okay. to um, finish getting ready for bowling. You guys okay, so, playing. okay, class guys, Oh, get that pencil. Okay, guys, go pack up, and then we'll be out of here. Thank you guys for teaching me the countries in Africa. Mwah. We are playing school, and Skylar is so funny. She is, like, the meanest teacher ever. Like, she was, like, being so bossy. <laughs> she even had the nerve to tell me, Mommy, raise your hand. It was so funny. I'm here. Mommy? Mommy? Here. Okay. And two. Okay, so in math, we are going to be getting our whiteboards and erasers because we are doing math and we're going to be subtracting and adding. So, our first three plus four equals what? Seven. Good. So three plus four equals seven. Mom, you have to pretend that you're raising your hand. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's try one plus four equals what? Mommy? Five. Good. Done. And I'm gonna about to put them in the dryer. It's right there. And then press that button. What up? Press the gray button. Okay. <laughs> how to do laundry she's really eager to do it right now i hope it sticks because i know sometimes like when you're younger and you're doing something for the first time it's like cool but then once you have to do it it kind of takes the fun out of it so i am going to be really lenient with her i'm not going to make it seem like she has to do it i'm just going like i did i taught her and now i want her to want to do it um so yeah hopefully that works out 
parenting is hard. Like, I feel like with parenting, you have to be very um, creative with teaching your children certain things. I don't think that parenting is solely about I'm the parent, you're the child, do what I say. Like, I don't, I don't like that approach. I like to basically understand what's the lesson that I'm teaching her. And I want to make sure it gets to her the best way possible, the most effective way. It does not have to be on the lines of do what I say. No, I want it to be a learning lesson. I want it to stick. I want it to be positive. I don't want it to be a negative thing. Do you get what I'm saying? I hope you understand what I'm saying. But anyway, <laughs> so Taylor's reward for doing laundry um, and both of them for just doing a good job for their first two weeks of school um, was to go bowling. So we had a family bowling night. That was a lot of fun. Channel on our channel. Sure. Hey guys. I, I want to when we get, when we get home. I want to watch Skylar and do what we should do. And today we are going to I'm going to watch the smoothie challenge when we get home. I guess you would get duck pins, and I didn't even think about getting duck pins to try to, but I wanted them to get like the real live experience too. So even with those uh, those balls, I was just trying to show her how to, where to put her fingers and all that too.
Good job, Taylor. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we had a lot of fun. I won the first game. Devin won the second game. Uh, Bowling. It was so much fun. Who do you think was the best? I think my dad. mom. I think dad because he got 101. No, it was mom. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, of course, um, you know, I'm good at whatever I do. So I won bowling. Who won the first round? I don't even remember. It's how did you? <laughs> nah, I only the only reason why I lost the first round is because I got a call and I was bowling on the phone. Like I was on the phone and I threw a couple of them and they didn't go, you know. But I wasn't trying to be rude. So you got a strike when you were on the phone. I have the footage. I don't remember. Bowling was fun. Bowling was fun. Um, it's a good a good like bonding experience i think they was like i like the way they was cheering for each other like when they would rather they knock one pin down and knock 10 of them down it's expensive though yeah because mom was rocking i she like started to lose and then win <laughs> it's so i won the first round daddy won the second one though oh yeah yeah so daddy, we're even daddy, daddy got 100 So, and then, what else happened? And then I was, wait, I was, I was asking for another round. Yeah, Taylor didn't want to leave. Yeah, I was just, I it was just one more round. Time. So, that was the story time of my sleepover and bowling. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. In the comment section, let's talk about your childhood memories. Like, did you have chores? Um, did you have sleepovers? Did you play school? Like just, did you go bowling? Like these are all childhood memories that I really cherish and I definitely wanted to um, share those with my girls and make sure they're having those type of types of memories. When I was younger, our family used to go on like fun trips together every weekend and we used to alternate between bowling in skating so you know one weekend the family would go bowling the next weekend they would allow us to have our kitty like skate night and it was just so much fun we used to rent a van and all of us would go together um so yeah those memories are so important it's like the small things that really matter i think it's super important to have those kinds of moments with your kids because it's something that they'll always remember like i think when i first started this i'm I can vividly remember. It's like when I hear certain songs, when I, you know, when I hear Luther Vandross, it automatically made me think of my mom. You know what I mean? And even though I was doing chores, it's not a bad thing. You know what I mean? So those those little moments and those little things that are sometimes you think is insignificant and your kids might not remember, like they really do, and they really cherish all those moments. Like whatever you do, do it well, be great. As always, we love y'all. See you next time. I'm out.